everybody, I'm here for in my mailbox this week and I have some great books to show you guys. Um, I got another random house box containing uh, some great books. Um, let me show off the ones I guess I kind of care about a little bit first. Um, Foretold by, um, which is an anthology edited by Carrie Ryan. Um, it contains 14 stories. Um, from authors like Rochelle Mead, Lisa McMahon, Lanny Taylor, Meg Cabot, and um, it just sounds really, really cool, and it's 14 stories about um, prophecy and prediction, so it sounds really interesting, and I'm going to have to try and get around to reading it at some point, because it sounds so good. Um, so I want to try. Um, yesterday by C.K. Kelly Martin. Um, I actually had this as an e-galley, um, and I've looked it up for now just in case, but um, I'm going to try, I'm gonna, probably going to uh, read it in physical book form instead, uh, just because it's a little bit easier. And I have so many other e-galleys to read too. Um, I have yet to read any of C.K.'s books. I think I own all of them, <laughs> because Random House keeps sending them to me. And, um, but I haven't yet read, read one yet, and I feel really bad about that. Um, Unspoken by Sarah Reeves Brennan. And I've only read Sarah's first book, um, The Demon's Lexicon. And I have the second and third book in the Demon's uh, series. Oh, I have I have read uh, Team, Team Human, which she co-wrote with Justine Marbelestier, so there's that. Um, but this one sounds really interesting. I have an e-galley for this as well. Um, so, um, but I'm really, really excited to read it. I love this cover. It's very shiny. It's very fun. Um, let's see if there's any other. And another e-galley that I had is um, Shadowfell by Juliet Marillier. I don't know. Um, and, um, yeah, so I had this as an e-galley. It sounds really interesting. Um, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's a fantasy novel. Um, something like that. Um, Neutrally, yeah, fantasy novel. And, um, yeah, so it sounds really good, and I can't wait to read it. And then the other books in the box included um, Beyond a Ghost Story by Graham McNamee. And I tried reading um, his book Bone Killer a really long time ago. It came out in like 2008 or 2009. And, I mean, which is, isn't really that long ago, but it feels like that to me. And I never got around to finishing it, so I don't know. This one's pretty short. Um, it's like 230 pages, so... Ah! I guess I have this, <laughs> this other picture. Um, that's funny. Um, but yeah, so uh, I like ghost stories. Um, I usually don't like reading them at night, but... Not that I'm going to read this at night, so... But I do like ghost stories. <laughs> um, Hanging by a Thread by Sophie Littlefield. Um, this one looks like it's be it's about murder because it says on the back, uh, "Be careful, stay in groups, lock the door, and don't be Winston's next murder victim." So um, I'm not sure exactly what it's about, but sounds interesting. And the fourth book in the Hunchback of Simon's Island of Doom by author Slade. Um, I think I have the third, I, or at least I donated the third book. I think they sent it to me last year or something like that, and. Um, they have gotten the first book, too, and probably donated both. Um, so I'll be donating this as well. <laughs> uh, that's all the books from Random House. And then I got some other books. Um, an advanced copy of The Other Normals by Ned Vizzini. I'm actually part of the blog tour, um, which is being uh, hosted, run by um, Pam of Bookalicious. And I was actually really surprised to be asked, um, not because cause I am friends with Pam, but she had told me that apparently Ned Vizzini suggested me as somebody to be on this blog tour. And I was like, I didn't even think Ned Vizzini even knew who I was. And because I've never read any of his books, which I feel really bad about. I, I do want to read them, but, um, but I haven't gotten around to them. So I will be reading this, of course, since I am on the blog tour. Um, and I have an interview with him, too. And so it should be really fun. Um, so I'm really excited. My tour date is October 6th, I think. So keep an eye out for that. And this, oh, by the way, this is, because um, I already got a copy about like a month or two ago, 
and um, this is actually going to be my giveaway copy. Um, and it, uh, hardcover of Unstoppable by Tim Green. I will be donating, the, donating this book. Um, it's a sports book. I'm not a big fan of those. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it's just going to have to be donated. Sorry. Um, and, oh, that's not, I'm reading that right now. I just want to know, I'm reading Crown of Embers right now, Loving It So Far. It's by Ray Carson. It's coming out September 18th. And I have a, I'm part of the blog tour, which is actually part of the national marketing campaign, so I feel very special. Um, <laughs> and my tour stop is on September 20th. But I got this up several months ago. I'm just reading it now. Um, I got Hardcover of Defiance by CJ Redwine. I have an advanced copy of this already. I cannot wait to read it. It sounds really, really good. Um, I read um, a review by um, April of Good Books and Good Wine, and she really loved it. So I um, cannot wait to read this. And this is actually also blurbed by Ray Carson. So it um, should be really fun. The hardcover is very shiny. I will be donating this to my library since I already have an advanced copy. And I took out Serafina by Rachel Hartman from my library. Um, I'm going to see if I can try and get, a, get this in somewhere um, along the way. I'm not sure if I'll be able to, though, in the next like couple weeks. Yeah, it's due back on the 18th, so we'll see. Um, and then, finally, I got uh, a manuscript copy of Crusher by Neal Leonard. So it's a big, big book. Um, and... <laughs> Um, and I was like, oh, and at first it felt really special. I was like, ooh, this must be like a book that's not coming out until like next summer or something like that, you know? No, it's coming out next month. Um, and, um, Neil, uh, Leonard is actually, um, the Fifty Shades, um, writer's husband, um, so E.L. James' husband, um, and... He wrote this, this is a young adult book, uh, he wrote this last November, and it got acquired this past June, and it's being published in 10 days. Well, 9 now, I guess, because it's being, this is being posted on the 2nd. Um, so, yeah, less than a year after it was first written. So, I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit dubious about it, um, just because of how quickly it went. Um, so, I don't know. But then I don't know what else I'm going to do with this, so... I, I may try and get around to reading it. I don't know if I will or not, but we'll see. Because it does, I mean, it sounds interesting, but I'm, I'm uh, just very dubious about it. So, um, yeah. So that's it, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got in my mailbox. I can't wait to see what you guys got in your mailboxes. And I will hopefully see you next week, depending on also if, you know, what kind of books I get in the mail. So... Um, if I don't get anything, obviously no video. So, um, so I'll let you guys go, and thanks for watching. Bye.